I am C Engineer and welcome to TYC. It is a series where I take your challenges and execute them in game. All challenges will be done on account with double name change so no one knows it's me. Will I fail or will I succeed? My first challenge comes from 722moo and he tells me to give someone broken arms and ask them to repair it for you. So I've dressed up my account as a big noob, I got the broken arms. Let's see how people respond to this. And most importantly, is anyone gonna scam me? I need help, can someone help me please? What you need? My armor needs to be fixed. White Mog, he says, yes sir, what's up? I'm giving him 6.8 mil. He's level 125. I don't think he would scam me. One second, stay here. I think he's actually fixing it, unless he disappeared forever. <laughs> he's back. He actually fixed it! Faith in humanity restored. We actually gave another broken arm set to another player and once again they repaired the set and gave it back. But now for the real test. I downloaded the plugin RuneWatch. It's a plugin that calls out people who allegedly has scammed in the past to see if they would scam a broken item set from a noob. And after hopping for an hour, we finally found someone. Someone called Ass Whoopins is on RuneWatch list for stealing borrowed items. This is your one shot to redeem yourself as Whoopin on video. Everyone gonna see if you're a good man or a bad man. Ass Whoopins, can you help me please? I need you to fix this. I will fix it in 10 minutes. Okay, I will wait. Okay, what do you want? Can you fix this for me? I'm just gonna ask him, can you fix this for me? And I'm gonna trade it over. Okay, he's, he's gonna accept it. Will this man redeem himself for being on the rune watch list? Or will he scam an innocent noob? Why would you trust a random person? You are high level and I need to train magic. Don't do it again. Any high level will scam you. Lucky I'm a good person. Lucky I'm a good person. Is he actually? Oh my god! Faith in humanity restored once again. The next challenge comes from K, and he wants me to use the Dragon Scimitar special attack to remove someone's protection prayers, then kill them before they can activate the prayers again. And I'm gonna attempt to complete this challenge in full Tribrid into full Darox. Okay, send it. Oh! oh, so close to completing it on the first attempt. Good fight. <laughs> I tried it. I tried it on very low HP. Didn't get the go though. Smite it. Dead! No! Dead! Oh my god! I, what? Is that completed? Is that completed? He could have put Protect from Mila on because it was two hits. But he didn't. Oh my god, what's the loot on that kill? It took me so long, I'm finally done. I feel like I'm done. He wasn't risking anything. Oh, there we go. TYC completed. I believe that's the completion of the TYC. Next challenge comes from Factor75 and they want me to tell us everything about Factor75. Uh... C engineer, is this an ad? Uh, yes, soup. This video is sponsored by Factor 75. Do you want to save time and alleviate stress? Factor cuts out stressful meal planning and extensive prepping, so meals come together in minutes. Factor even offers meals for those looking to follow keto, low calorie, or vegan and vegetarian lifestyle. Factor helps you reach your goals, and if you're into fitness, then it all starts with the food. Factor makes it possible for you to achieve your daily goals through nutritious, purposeful eating. And this is perfect for gamers. Factor's no hassle prepared food makes you always have something nutritious on hand when you don't have time to think about making lunch or dinner. Grab a smoothie or keto shake for a quick snack or heat and eat a chef quality meal in just two minutes with no prep or cleanup necessary. You can stay focused on what you love to do. 
Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code POGENGINEER December 60 for 60% 60 off your first box. Link in the description down below. The next challenge is an old challenge I've always wanted to do on a streamer. Fight someone with a Sammy God Sword and in the middle of the fight, spec him, step away, and home teleport back to Lumbridge. Alright, I found another streamer, PKing. Uh, Ice Cold Shady. Alright, let's. Uh... Got to go. <laughs> what kind of is that, dude? <laughs> That's pretty funny though. I want to do this on skill specs as well, but he's gonna TB me, so I'll have to spec him and log out. What in the fuck is that? I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is some kind of elaborate lore I'm falling through. What if there's a team waiting inside the Zami Mage, bro? Imagine that, bro. Is that this guy's elaborate plan, bro? He's about to die. No way. Yeah, yeah, back on my man! Let's go, buddy! Please. Yes, I got a log! I'll never know what he had. I, this The game, the game's ridiculous. Never, I'll never, I'll never fucking know, bro! If you like this series idea and want to see more, make sure to leave a like and maybe even a challenge in the comments. Add Davian and give him 200 mil. Davian. Not logged in. Too bad. Next challenge, circle into the AGS for the KO. Circle into AGS, completed. A little change of environment for the next TYC, which comes from Nigoi. And he wants me to get a kill in full bronze, all while smack-talking my opponent on his trash armor. LMAO, your armor is so bad. Look at your Peking. It smells noob armor here. Are you level 1 crafting? No way he got away. I'm mad. I'm mad. He got away. Please don't take my Addy plate. Your armor sucks. It does. Addy plate, more like Addy shape. But it's better than nothing. It's how you use it, man. How about we go each our way and forget about this? Oh no, he, he survived that again. Okay. Framed is that you. LMAO, your armor sucks. Did you make that armor in Tutorial Island? I killed him. He put the dot dot dot. I was so mean saying that, but... TYC completed. I was a mean boy. I was such a mean boy. The next challenge comes from IceChamp419. And he wants me to complete the Grandmaster PVM Diary. And since there is 82 Grandmaster tasks that I still haven't completed, I will do at least one task per TYC episode. I tried to find something that was doable on this list because everything is so difficult. And I found this one, the Fremnik Way. Kill Vorkat with only your fists. After looking at a solo mission video, the gear setup for this is very simple. Full max strength and a full inventory of Bruce. <laughs> Fireball. Oh, that was close. I think that's it. Yes. I think we're done. Combat task completed. We got it. Combat task completed. We got the CNG plugin sound effect. I don't have to do YouTube commentary anymore. We made a nice little 99k from that kill as well. Faithless encounter. Another Vorket Grandmaster task. Kill Vorket without losing any prey points. I assume it's gonna be easy. I just don't use any prayer. I think this one was very easy. Yep. Grandmaster task completed. We got a Vorket head. And with Vorket out of the way, I'd like to say TYC partially completed. The next TYC comes from Deleted and he wants me to do the very first and the very last TYC I have ever done. So if we go back to March 2017, I got a challenge that said get a kill using four DDS specs in a row. So this time around I'm going deep wilderness in full mage gear into almost max melee gear. One spec, two spec, please smite, please bite. Oh my god, what a hit. Dead! That's a two hit. Man, that guy got eliminated from the game. And we got 1.4 mil. Dead. One. This guy is AFK. He's so AFK. Yeah. 300k? 1.3 mil. We got a dragon crossbow.
Oh my, that was four specs in a row on an LMS game. I think that counts. Unintentional TYC completed. I was casually watching a Skillspec stream and one of his viewers approached me. I have a mission for you. I was intrigued with this mission, so I listened. Take this dagger, it has a magical abilities and slay the ogre. So this man wants me to kill Skillspecs using this handcrafted dragon dagger. <laughs> Dying on my hardcore eye man. Completed. Uh, we died. But we got one more chance. <laughs> okay, we got him with the DDS. He had so much food left as well. We got a solid 33 ml PK from the kill and a bonus 10 mil for completing the challenge. TYC, go PKing with full carols at Lava Dragons and use the set effect to prevent someone from using the agility shortcut. You need 74 agility to use this shortcut from Lava Dragons to escape PKers and with the carol set effect you can lower their agility by 20%. What's this? He could have the shortcut. What level is he? Is he jumping? <gasps> he can't jump! I froze him! No way! <laughs> Hello! How is your agility level doing? No! He had a restore! No way, sad! He used to restore! I actually found someone! Two hours of hopping worlds at Lava Dragons and we found one person. We're taking the same idea but to the Rev Caves because it's more active. With the 89 agility shortcut. <gasps> this guy have that agility level. I don't think he can use it anymore. He's gonna try to use it. Can he? Does he have a super store? He cannot jump. Oh no. Man. The super store ruins it all. Ruins all the fun. I found this anti peaker and he has 86 agility. Meaning he needs a summer pie to jump over this obstacle. That... Oh. Please don't be able to cross. He's trying to... I don't know. He can't cross. Wait, he can't cross? Come on. Don't splash, don't splash, don't splash. His agility is low. He can't even jump over there. Okay, is that? That's a nice kill. Okay, he couldn't. Wait, it worked. He had 86 agility, but his agility must have gone so low. He had to boost up using a pie dish, a su summer pie. Yeah, he had a summer pie, but he so this man had a summer pie with him for the shortcut. However, he used the summer pie when his agility level was decreased, making the summer pie work as a restore rather than boosting his stats, which is why he couldn't use the shortcut. So this means challenge completed. The next challenge comes from Shady Poison and he wants me to stop asking for likes and subscriptions. Wait, what? Welcome to my office. I recently came to the realization that my office is very messy. I spend 12 hours every single day in this room and it is chaos. Cords are hanging everywhere, my sound panels are all over the place and I need to fix this. Today I focused on the main thing and that was the computer. I moved the computer under the desk, it gave me so much space on top of the desk. I also installed a cord holder so no more cords hanging down my legs. This quality of life only cost me $50 so totally worth it. I also had enough space to add another monitor so I'm very happy with that. And I still want to change the rest of my office so if you have any ideas of what I should do, let me know in the comments because I want to change up everything in here.